Intelligent and resourceful, Brigham Young possessed natural leadership skills. His training began as a young man. By age 16, he had become an apprentice carpenter, joiner, painter, and glazier. Having lost his mother in his youth and his wife Miriam in their early marriage, Brigham learned that hardship and trial were schoolmasters that endowed a man with compassion and mercy. One of the first apostles to be called in this dispensation, his loyalty to the prophet was constant. He was a captain in Zion's camp, an organizer of the Missouri Exodus, and president of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. During the dark days of Kirtland, when apostasy ran rampant even among the church leadership, it was Brigham Young's unyielding firmness that became a strength to the loyal saints. His powerful leadership led the church during the Missouri persecutions, while the prophet Joseph languished in the Liberty Jail. In England, as the Twelve Apostles struggled against men, nature, and Satan himself, Brigham Young led the affairs of the church with vigor and selfless devotion. While there, he assisted Wilfred Woodruff and Willard Richards in the organization of the church and the preaching of the gospel, compiled a book of hymns, published and indexed the Book of Mormon, and established the first mission across the seas. My firm resolve was that I would do what I was required to do in the gospel of life and salvation, or I would die trying. 